<laughs> we also have another entrepreneur. Take a look at Sheena's story. Hi, my name is Sheena Young. I'm from Owings Mills, Maryland, and my product is the Nail Cozy Ambi Collection. My Ambi Collection is a convertible high heel to flat shoe, so when you're out and your feet become uncomfortable, you can just slip out into the flat and wear the flat alone, or you can wear the heel alone. I thought of the idea one New Year's Eve. I was out partying and having a good time. You know, I was a little tipsy, and um, my feet began to hurt, so I decided to take my shoes off. And I'm a little germaphobic, so I decided the next day that I was going to develop a solution to painful shoes. As well as running this business, I also am pursuing a PhD in chemistry, so I use my chemistry background to develop an antibacterial insert that can go inside of the high heel shoe. I don't know when I developed an interest in chemistry. I just, when I was younger, I used to bury forks in the sand and hope it tur turned into gold. So I've just always wanted to be successful. My goal is that in one year, all women are going to be wearing my shoes, including Bethany. Good in the inserts would be good in your I kit. I know. Yeah. Um, awesome. So the, the name. Tell me the name. Nail Cosi. Nail Cosi. Okay. So what has the process been like for you? What have the struggles been? What have the triumphs been? Where are you now in the process? It's been challenging. I. Um, it was easy designing the shoe, but then when I was looking for a manufacturer, it was difficult to find one that could design the shoe. And with my money, I can't afford to um, have a large inventory, so it's, it's difficult to find one that can have Small the, quantities. Right, That's yeah. a big thing in business that happens when you get into a business, no matter how good your product is, you want to find somebody who can make small quantities because the big companies won't take you on. So this is the product. Now, this, these are obviously current styles. Right. This is like the hidden platform, and this is the, even you have the newer style, which is the pointy toe. Right. So what happens is, and this, I like that you have, um, it's kind of, I don't want to say, like an antibacterial insert. Yes. So the insert, does the insert give any benefit, like comfort or anything like that? Where It does. It's actually comfortable and also it uh, adds volume to the hill if you want to wear, wear the hill by itself. Okay, because I would say that that would be a good thing to, to, in addition, that it's also good for comfort or support your arches or something. So here it is. So you're wearing these shoes at night and, you know, you're at a wedding and now... These are, oh, this is great. This is a very good idea. Yeah. So now you are uncomfortable, you've been dancing all night, and you decide to pull this out, and now you have a ballet flat. I mean, I think that <laughs> is a genius, genius. It's also good for the walk of shame. You're at a guy's house, and the next day you don't want to leave with these on. Imagine walking past your doormat in those. That would be, yeah, that, your mascara down. Yeah. So this is a good for walk of shame, too. Yeah. What I think is that I don't like the name because okay. no one understands what it is. I would call it flat heels, okay. you know, something or something that says what it means because you really need to communicate this. Right. Um, I think it's a really, really, really good idea. I think um, I would focus on, I would start with a niche, a niche, uh, a niche like, um, like bridal because I would get, because uh, brides, bridesmaids, these are the people that are sitting there after dancing, and they want to just be able to sit under the table right. and not have to be barefoot. Yeah. You know, at events yeah. for like special occasions. Yeah, I do have a bridal line that's coming out this summer. So it has the bride's shoe and it has bridesmaid's shoes as well. This is the way that I would market it, okay. you know, for, for proms. Yeah. For proms when that's girls are uncomfortable. Idea. I mean, I think, I, I honestly, I think I would also, because uh, Christian Louboutin that has uh, been suing everybody and losing, but I still think. This looks like you're doing your own thing of the Louboutin thing. I, I would, okay. I would, you know, maybe I do maybe polka dots or just a plain sole. I don't think it should. I don't think it needs to scream out anything. It just needs to be a really high quality version of, of what's already out there. You yeah. know, which I think you're close. I mean, I think this is my favorite one. That this hidden platform and it's comfortable. And yeah. I think I mean, what's the price point? One hundred and forty dollars. $140. So I think you probably have to get closer to between $69 and $99, you okay. know? Yeah. What do you, right? Um, but I don't know. Maybe a company like Aldo yeah. or, you know, maybe even Steve Madden might be interested in having, having, you know, one of these styles. Again, it's a good thing for home shopping because you have to be able to explain right. to people what it is. Um, how, how much money have you spent? I have spent about $30,000. Oh, that's good. You have, do you, you own this patent? No one else can do this? I own it, yes. So no one else can do it. That's very important. That's, I actually think this is a real, I think this is not going to be very difficult yeah. for you to hit it out of the park with this. Thank you. Make sure that it's, 
It's the highest quality that you could possibly I get am. for That's your what money. I'm on Make sure now. the shoe looks like as good as every other shoe. Um, and you know, I might consider. Be, you know, are you looking for partners? I am. I yes. might consider this as a business. Well, I might consider this as a business. I think it's. What do you guys think of this idea? It's a great idea, right? I think it's great. Yeah. So, I, you know, they're both unbelievable ideas. You know, if you have more ideas, send them into the show. This is going to be a regular part of the show. I love hearing about it. I love helping people, Thank and you. I hope the advice helps. Yes, it does. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.